as an athlete uh, who has built a career in sports in your respective field, you must have felt so many emotions throughout this. Whether it's this wonderful feeling of flow where time st stands still, but your performance is just spot on, perfect, just the way you always wanted to be and train hard for. And yet there are times when everything seems to go wrong. You had great training, you feel good, but these emotions just get the better of you. Things don't go the way you want and you feel sometimes shame, sometimes angry at yourself. Sometimes you feel the pressure of others, the media, your nation or from yourself. To, to perform well, even when you feel sick, when you feel unmotivated and you just want to do everything else but train or go to this next competition. And all these emotions and feelings are so normal. And if you consider that your field, uh, being a top athlete, working as an athlete, is exceptional. It requires such motivation, such persistence in this specific field, and it and it demands all of you. And it gets hard if you don't have the psychological skills to support you, to keep you healthy, to keep you enjoying the game, to enjoy the hardships, to enjoy the challenge, to understand. What is it in you? What's your identity? Why you want to do this? And how to do it in a way that doesn't break you, but makes you stronger as a person, first and foremost, and then as an athlete. Uh, my name is Lizzie Dom, and I work as a performance coach for athletes. Uh, I also used as a performance coach for CEOs, business people and executives and experts in variety of fields. And for me, athletes are just this fantastic crowd of people who are so passionate about what they do and give so much effort to it. And I learned how amazing psychological skills and training those psychological skills can be for one's potential to really understand where your limits do not go <laughs> and what you can do physically to get these next levels without breaking yourself and enjoy life around you just as well. And I think psychological skills and training and taking psychological skills as something you can train and should train as a complementary kind of training regimen uh, besides tactical or technical and physical skills. I think this is so vital, especially when you're a top athlete. And in this post, I am sharing six topics that I do uh, work mostly, which is identity, who you are, goal setting, how you set goals and follow them through throughout different times, um, we talk about motivation, how to get from external motivation to inner motivation and use both, actually. Uh, we talk about self-talk, uh, how the voices in your head, what they're saying and how to use that to build momentum, to build the focus on the performance. Um, we talk about, or this post will talk about the psychological skill of uh, relaxation and arousal control, both in training and competition time, which is, of course, the obvious place where usually your emotions get the better of you and there is heightened level of stress. And I also talk about imagery, uh, how imagery can help you kind of visualize and feel and perform even without really physically performing and what this can do for your performance and uh, goal uh, achievement. So 
So this is the psychological skills and I really believe that these are life skills. And I've seen them work both on me uh, and I've seen them work on Olympic athletes. I've seen them work on different experts and I would love to share them with you and I hope they can help you um, get the better performance physically but mostly to enhance this enjoyment in your field that you would love to stay there for a longer period, be more healthy and happy in it and use your potential to the extent in the way you want them to, to be exactly when you want them to. So this is my uh, little post for this and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you let me know what kind of spoke to you uh, and what kind of different topics you'd be interested in either reading more about or if you have any interest in working with me then just write me and let's see what we can do.